God who heals. The second benefit that will bid the nations to come to him because he gave us a mandate to go and compel them. If we are going to compel the nations to come to God, we must be able to present to them a God who heals. Follow carefully. Jeremiah 17, 14. A God who heals. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. It says, save me and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Heal me, O Lord. Matthew 9, 35. A healing God, my goodness. Matthew 9, 35. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, watch this, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Listen, I can tell you this by the authority of scripture. This is one of the greatest systems of compulsion that will bring the nations to Jesus before he returns, the healing ministry. Because when it has to do with sickness, no amount of money by itself can immune you from it. Money can give you a greater house, can give you security. But with all that financial, the financial resources, they can diagnose you of cancer, diagnose you of whatever it is. I can tell you, when the church presents a healing Jesus with proof, this one will win more souls to Jesus than you have ever seen. Our fathers, the patriarchs prophesied that before Jesus returns, the healing ministry will be restored. You've heard me cry the healing ministry. I'm saying that because there are people you are seated here and God is saying, hear this preacher because now this is where it applies to you. I've not been training you for nothing. You've not been fasting for nothing. You've not been doing night vigils for nothing. I am building you in the spirit because the healing anointing that I can tell you that you have not seen anything yet as far as the healing ministry of the church is concerned the healing Jesus the one who can heal who does not want to live long who does not want to fulfill his days and do you know sickness is so terrible that the moment it manifests in your body it shuts down every other activity it can redefine your priority in a moment you can be preparing for a business and then they tell you you have cancer or you have something you need to run to the hospital now your plans will change immediately ladies and gentlemen when the church stands in partnership with medical science and we prefer a solution to the world that jesus can heal hiv not theoretically can heal cancer even stage four not theoretically can heal the blind the deaf the lame with proofs not stage managed proof genuine ever increasing proof i can tell you a day will come when people will stand up and say come and organize a crusade in our territory we will pay for it by ourselves bring that healing jesus we have been looking for a healing jesus and we did not find him for 50 years when you find the healing jesus please tell me about him to the one who is sick you do not need noise. You need a healing Jesus. The reason why our witness is not effective is because those who went before us, although some of them were uneducated, but they were able to present a healing Jesus to the nations. I remember it was T.L. Osborne, I believe, who was sharing that one time he went to a nation and they would not pay attention to him. He preached and preached and preached and preached and they were just looking at him. And when all that noise was done, he made up his mind. He said, you know what? I think, I hope I recall the story well. They brought somebody who was lame out. They brought somebody who was blind out. They brought sick people. And it was, there was difficulty because the people were not really English speaking. As soon as he laid hands on the cripple, laid hands on the blind, and there was a miracle, there was an eruption, people began to shout. Can I tell you, one genuine miracle is equal to a thousand sermons. You believe me when I tell you that. One genuine miracle.
that someone who is in national hospital here or any of the FMC seen by everybody stage 4 cancer Lord take us to that realm take us to that realm where we stop being noisemakers take us to that realm where we present a healing Jesus health cannot be bought in the mall you can buy healthy food unfortunately there is no product called health that is sold in the market when your body begins to deteriorate that is when you will know that of all the needs that you have you need a God that heals hallelujah hmm. do you know that one of the major listen listen out of the prayer requests that are dropped here all the time and in my the bit of my experience with in ministry if I'm to tell you the five major prayer points of people five major prayer points of people for most people prayer point number one is finance and finance finance related issues number two is their health issues of health that means by next week over 90 percent of the prayer points that will be dropped here is simply a request healing jesus where are you oh god that heals where are you do you know that when it has to do with the god that healed asians will call him americans will call him nigerians will call him even a herbalist will still call him go and study history both from the bible and modern history those who want cities to the lord they came with a healing god a healing jesus after selling the idea that god saves we need to let people is that he heals but can I tell you the truth as it is now that banquet of healing is not yet ready by the church it will be a casualty if we go and call the world now and say all of you the blind come the deaf come I know we walk by faith but if we are to be honest now that feast oh, that part of the menu is not yet ready it's not yet ready it's not yet ready it's not yet ready help us oh God is not yet ready what did these people see what came upon them that a woman like Emmy Semple McPherson ladies and gentlemen imagine koinonia like this if you are not sick you were not invited for that program what a woman stretch out only meetings that means if you are healthy go home it was only for sick people and as they moved down the line they lifted people as if they were state managing you would see over 100 wheelchairs wheeling out of conferences imagine you ladies and gentlemen i'm praying for you again in the name of jesus that not only will you be healed but that god is looking for the hands that will present a healing jesus may he find your hand available may he find your hand available may he find your hand available May he find your hand available. Hallelujah. I have seen what the healing power of God can do in the midst of men. I have seen what instant healing can do in the midst of men. It will clear doubts in a moment. Reposition your faith in a moment. In every gathering like this, there are always critics, there are doubters, there are scientific Christians, there are all kinds of people. But the moment the power of God is brought to the scene, it brings an end to the discussion. If God sends you back, please don't go until you fast and pray and say, Lord, verify that is not only a message I'm carrying, that the grace to demonstrate that you are alive, let it come upon me too. With all due respect, let me suggest this particularly to mission agencies let's obtain grace from god not just to carry salmons to the bush we will keep dying for nothing it takes more than salmons to cast out devils we must obtain grace you enter a village even if they cannot speak english may god help you you are, look at our fathers like apostle babalola was it not raising the dead and all these things that brought them to landlight 
Reinhard Bonke in the east when he came. The video is still there till today, even though the man has gone to be with the Lord. When the dead was raised, it shot his ministry to another dimension. I had the privilege to be in his crusade. I saw real miracles, not that they told me. My goodness, with one declaration, I saw people stand up from wheelchairs. I saw people fling their crutches, not stage managed. You watch T.L. Osborne's crusade and see miracles that short legs, people came and were limping inches below and with one declaration, those legs grew out. Not some of this jamboree that is happening in the church. Genuine miracles. The end time church must be the church that reveals genuinely the God who heals. And you see, it will not just be by one person. One person's witness of a healing God will not be effective. You will overburden that one person till he dies. This is why you see pastors collapsing because God never designed for only one or two people. It's a grace that should go round and spread round. Paul was healing the sick. Philip was healing the sick. Peter was healing the sick. All of them were healing the sick. As ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom is at hand. Proof number one, heal the sick. Proof number one, heal the sick. Anyone here who is called into the healing ministry, I'm praying for you right now. I stretch my hands by the Spirit, the anointing and the grace that will lead you to experiences that will build your spirit man until you carry a potent healing anointing. May that grace rest upon you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you the truth. And this is an honest submission. I have seen people healed of all manner of diseases in my life but i must tell you sincerely i've also seen people die of all manner of diseases and as a man of god sometimes you stand and you are pained there are people i have prayed for they have received their miracles and i am delighted but there are still people trusting god you know that there are some of them as you are looking at me like this and all those people some of them keep quoting scripture can i tell you if we fail to present a God who heals, a day will come our churches will be empty. And don't you say it does not matter. You, it does not matter is the deception and carelessness that the devil has brought that reduces us from the standard of power to an intellectual generation. Oh yes, it matters. Oh yes, it matters to present the God that heals. The healing ministry is so desperate in need right now that I can do anything disdainful right now in front of you. If I can convince you that it can heal you, that pride and do it. If I, God forbid, but just as an example, if I bring sand here right now and mix it with water and mix it with whatever, even if I kill an animal and pour the blood there, as ugly and smelly as it is, if I give an instruction, that's to tell you how bankrupt of the healing power. If I tell you this can solve your problem and heal your loved one that is having breast cancer now or having some kind of cancer, you will be amazed. Let one person touch it and let there be real healing. While critics are criticizing, the person will say, let me heal my loved one first. Then I'll go and verify whether it's demonic power or genuine power. Humans for you. Don't downplay the desperation of men. When men are desperate, nobody will want to watch his loved one die. And you cannot do anything. You've spent your money and this sickness is eating mama, eating everybody. They are emanciating every day. And yet we keep saying, don't go to the herbalist. And the person just looks at you and says, it's not your fault. Your own mother is alive. Your own father is alive. Your own sisters are alive. There is honorarium after service. My own mother, who is the only person taking care of me, is about to die. If we do not present a God that heals, I repeat, Africa will go back to its vomit. Let me tell you the truth. 
if we do not present a God that heals, men of God, we must trust God for grace to reduce activities and go back to the secret place and say, Lord, where did we miss it? Where did we miss it? Let that man to return. Oh, let that man to return. What did Kenneth Hagin carry? What did T.L. Osborne carry? What did they carry? Where is the mantle that were upon the apostles that a man was teaching and a woman fell from a story building and died? And they went back, raised the woman back to life and continued the lecture. Kai. It was said of E.W. Kenyon that there was a particular age range that people did not die below. He will raise you back. One time they said a truck crushed somebody's feet, literally mashed the feet like this. And all he did was to come and stand in front of it and the bones began to shake until they came back. These are not exaggerations. Listen. I had a visit sometimes to Bonny, Bonny Island and they showed me the pulpit where men like Joseph Johnson, Samuel Ajayi Crowder, one of them, the pulpit that had fire coming out on it. I saw it there and I said, Lord, revive us. We are here bragging, whereas the sick have been sick. There are people watching me right now from several hospitals. We keep proposing a God to the nations they are not interested in. The nation we are reaching is not a dull nation. They need the God that heals. Can you pray in one minute? Father, restore the healing mantle back to the church. Please pray. Restore the healing mantle. Let somebody carry this grace again. Koinonia, pray. Let's pray on behalf of this ministry. Let's pray on behalf of the body of Christ. The end time church must be the church that presents the God that heals. A healing Jesus. Genuine healings, notable healings. Please pray. Hallelujah. John chapter 6 and verse 2. John chapter 6 and verse 2. So that we stop losing our loved ones through untimely death while we are shouting amen. Imagine how many sick people go to church. We tell them this man of God is powerful. Joshua Selman is powerful. You just come for Koinonia. And some of these people take steps of faith. Some of them even go as far as leaving the hospitals by faith. And they come and sit down under us. And we come with all our paraphernalia and sometimes with pride. And after we are done shouting, the people go back like that. And we act as if nothing happened. May there be a generation that will not will hold on to the hand of God and say, Lord, restore this healing mantle. Restore this healing mantle. Can I tell you, it is amazing those we call the champions of healing in our generation. Our fathers in the Bible and in modern history, I'm sure they will weep from heaven and say, what a shame. This is what you call the healing ministry? Of praying and shouting and fasting for days and only one person with one unverified headache or someone who says he's healed and we celebrate the testimony here and two days later the person is back in the hospital and the person dies quietly but people keep clapping that the healing has happened genuine healing is genuine healing period John 6-2 you came to grow, to draw from you again, again. We've come to draw, 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 draw from you again. John 6, 2. Notice, every time you see healing, you see great multitudes. And a great multitude followed him. Europeans, Asians, 
I say this with all humility to God. Did you know that just preparing for the US conference and the UK conference right now, the last update, there are about 5,600 workers. 5,600 workers just for the conference, not those coming, those who want to work, and about 4,000 for Canada. Do you know why? Because when people perceive that God has placed something upon your life, excuses die. Remember the parable I show you. Anytime somebody tells you, excuse me, what he's saying is you've not ascended to a level where you have presented a Jesus for me that makes what I'm doing become inferior. Once what I am doing is still superior to your proposition, you will keep hearing, excuse me. Come, let's go to church. Excuse me, I am busy. But not when a healing Jesus is moving. When a healing Jesus is moving, Catherine Kuhlman's crusade that will start 6 a.m. by 5 or by 2 or 3, people are already there joining queues. And a great multitude followed him because they did what? Let's read it together. One to read. And a great multitude followed him. Why? Which he did on them that were diseased. One more time. And a great multitude. Look at this scripture and don't forget it. And a great multitude followed him. He didn't call them. He didn't beg. This is beyond poster. It's beyond social media. When you market a healing Jesus with proof. And men can see him. All excuses die. We leave Nigeria to India. Because we want to take patients for surgery. And no matter how long the flight is, it is not too long. Provided an attempt can be made to restore their lives. We leave from here to America, from here to Canada, to Europe. We are, we, because we have patients that need to be, there are people who are carried literally. Oh, my spirit is fired up. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may God restore this healing mantle. Yeah. Let me share with you something that happened. I'm not one person who brags around encounters because I want people to build their faith in the word. But many years ago, I had a vision. And in that vision, this man comes to me, not too tall, and I'm looking at him. And then we have this conversation. It's a spirit communication. And when he's done, it was like an impartation that came from him. And then I looked at him and I said, Sir, what is your name? And he did not answer me. He just kept moving. Then later he turned to me and he said, Paul. And I said, Paul. Paul in the Bible. That was when it occurred to me. These guys, they are called, this is not just some witchcraft. They are called the spirits of just men made perfect. I believe that in these days some of you will go to the place of prayer and there are saints like Elijah and um, Elijah and, and, and Moses appeared before Jesus there are saints who will come and say sit down let me tell you what happened in the 1920s there are mantles that came upon us hear me the many sermons that we preach today I submit to you, not as a way of condemning the church, the many volumes of sermons that we bring to convince members is because of the bankruptcy of a healing Jesus. The gospel was supposed to be simple and penetrative in the presence of results. Great multitudes followed him because they saw what he did on them that were diseased. Because they saw, because they saw in Koinonia, because they saw everywhere. Do you know, every time I pray preparing for administration, among the many things I say, oh God of heaven. Now we are going to Kenya in a few days. And I'm saying, Lord, thank God for the mighty things you did last week. But there are people traveling from everywhere. Father, we pray like the apostles prayed that you stretch forth your hands and that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. You are a man of God here. I'm showing you the end time strategy to run away from frustration. There will be empty pews for anybody who cannot reveal a healing Jesus. Thank God for emotional healing. That is important. 
but we are talking of healing of bodies deteriorated I understand why they hated Jesus because they had given a narrative that God did not heal again suddenly this Galilean shows up he looks at a woman who had been bound 18 years and he says woman you are delivered from all your infirmities he goes in John 5 sees a man who had been 30 imagine coming to meet a popular crippled man in Abuja and say where is the man imagine some popular person who is deaf or blind or whatever that you are aware of do you know what would have happened that Naaman returned back Naaman returned back and they said sir what happened to you I met a prophet in Israel called Elisha he would not even let me see his face he only said he represented the God of heaven and he said I should go and watch seven times all this fight about churches and membership is simply because we are not carrying genuine grace there are enough members enough sinners enough people in trouble to fill every church plus overflows if you present a God that heals one more time don't be tired this is koinonia lay your hands on your head and say Lord as you are anointing men in this end time to heal I pray that I will be an available vessel go ahead and pray Salike paresco franda gabarakasco brende gelegos. Krate kafaraske belende gerusia. Go to the highways and the byways and compel them to come by presenting a God that loves and compel them to come by presenting a God that forgives and compel them to come by presenting a God that heals. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let me give you number three. What kind of God must we present to the nations to cause the nations to come as a multitude to him? Number three, the God who redeemed.